In Georgia, Iowa today, an American hero is laid to rest. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. I'm Stella Daskalakis. Matt is on assignment. Funeral services were held for Army Corporal Eldert Beek, 70 years after he died in the Korean War. Beek was just 20 years old when he was killed in action. His remains were only recently identified. Last week, those remains were returned to Iowa. The 20-year-old was reportedly killed in action on December 1, 1950, when Beek's unit was attacked by enemy forces near the Chosen Reservoir in North Korea. It was one of the most bloody battles of the Korean War when more than 13,000 Americans died or went missing during the 17-day engagement. In June 2018, following a summit between the United States and North Korea, more than 55 boxes that were supposed to contain the remains of American service members killed during the war were turned over. Elder Beek was among them. For the family, it was a closure to a 70-year-old mystery. Cindy Beek, Eldert's niece, says they never stopped hoping Eldert would return to them. I know my parents and my grandparents every day would hope that the knock at the door would have been Eldie coming home. Beek's family always prayed he was alive, and although it's not the way they wanted it to happen, Corporal Beek finally came home on June 10th. Beek's remains were escorted by members of the Iowa State Patrol and South Dakota Highway Patrol and the Patriot Guard Riders from Iowa and South Dakota. Well, when we do come together, it's kind of like a thing just to have the family come. It's so nice that everyone just agrees over one thing, that he really was a hero. Family, friends, military, and community members gathered to say their final goodbyes to Army Corporal Elder J. Beek. KTIV's Havapara spoke to his relatives and has more about what this day means to their family. I mean, even Grandma many times would ask my dad, do you think they'll ever bring LD home? Uncle LD. That's what Army Corporal Elder J. Beek was to Eldon Maxwell and Cindy Bree. When we came in the door, he would say, come here, Pip Squeak, and he'd throw me in the air and catch me. Bree was only three years old when her uncle first joined the military, but she remembers exactly what kind of person he was. And he was gentle, kind, and like always smiling, always. Eldon, who was named after Beek, never had the chance to meet him. I remember as a kid growing up, I said to my mom, I said, what in the world did you ever name me Eldon? She says, well, you're named after Uncle 